We're going to cover what an embedded system is and we're going to see if you can identify these things uh, around the house because sometimes actually it can be a little bit tricky. But let's start off with a definition about what is an embedded system. Quite simply, it's a device that has a computer system inside it. So far, so good. You know, that's a fairly straightforward definition, but when you start looking around your house, you start to question, well, does it have a full-on computer system inside it, or is it something else? So let's give you some examples of some definite uh, embedded systems that you'll have around your home. Washing machine, if it was built sometime in the last 20 years, it will have a computer inside it. So that would be an embedded system. And one big clue, um, just in general for embedded systems, if you're pressing buttons and it goes beep, then that is usually a good clue that it's almost certainly an embedded system. Does it go beep? Let's have a think about other things. Uh, sticking with the kitchen, that might have an embedded system in it. Dishwasher, certainly when I finish, uh, when I set up my dishwasher cycle, when I press a few buttons on it to let it go, it definitely beeps at me and it definitely beeps where it finishes. So that is a good example uh, of an embedded system. That's definitely one. What about going away from the kitchen? What about a TV? Well, certainly a smart TV will. There are some very old TVs which might not have a computer system inside it, but definitely smart TVs, you know, they connect to a network. The pretty much more computer than they are TVs these days. That is definitely an embedded system. What about these days we've got like Bluetooth speakers and things like that. So that is definitely an example of an embedded system too, or smart speakers as well. You know, things like the, uh, the Amazon Echo, stuff like that. They are uh, examples of embedded systems because they are a speaker with a computer inside it, you see. So there are some solid examples of embedded systems around your house. Let's cover some common misconceptions about what probably aren't embedded systems around your house. So a toaster. A toaster is one that I get quite often. Sometimes um, you might think that's an embedded system, but it doesn't actually have a computer inside it. Okay, You're like it doesn't go beep. Well, mine does, certainly doesn't anyway. I pull the lever down. Um, I might press a few buttons on it, but that's all circuits in the background. There's no actual processor, um, which is processing things and checking uh, things as it goes along. Uh, vacuum cleaners, they usually aren't embedded systems as well. So there's again, no sort of like digital display on most vacuum cleaners. So that, that's the, you know a clue that we're not dealing with uh, um, an embedded system there. Fridges, freezers, uh, again, they sort of just have a motor and a little bit of electronics in them. They don't have like that processor in the middle which is driving things. So fridges and freezers, probably not. The only exception for that, and if you had this as a question, is like if you've got some sort of smart fridge. Uh, so if you had it, like you'd have to put that word smart and then you might get a mark if you're having this in an exam. Um, because smart fridges, which have got like some sort of um, digital display up front, yeah, possibly. But um, but your standard bog standard fridge or freezer, no. So you can see there's a little bit of a difference between these two. And you know, if you're, you're on safe grounds, if it does this usually, if it goes beep, but these things basically have processes in them. They are reacting to some sort of input from a user. They do some processing, uh, they store a little bit of data and then they have some sort of output. Whereas these really just don't have the processing part of it. They might have an input like a toaster, like you're pulling a, uh, you're pulling a lever down but then there's no process, nothing, nothing to do with that after you've got that information. It just, uh, it just basically runs a, ta a simple timer. So they are embedded systems. Hopefully that helps you identify them. But the main thing to remember is that any sort of device that has a computer system inside it. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.